Tonight on Hip on the Spot News. The Strike Eagle pre-order is here, but how is it? Drama unfolds with discounts and problematic prices. A pre-order trailer raises the anticipation for a release. And we ask ourselves to steam or not to steam. This and more on How I Play. Hello Virtual Pilots, I'm Andre Celesti and tonight we are going to take a look at the latest updates from DCS World. And oh boy, we got some news for you. Get some popcorn, take a seat and be ready because today, well, is one of those Razbam days it seems. Razbam Strike Eagle is, well, on the way. So yes, dear Virtual Aviators, after another delay of the pre-order, you know, that date when we like to spend money. I know that spending is like therapy, ask Natasha, but there's no harm to you, to me or Petrovich if the date is changing a bit. So fast forward to today and guess what, the pre-order went live with a 30% discount. Or was it just a 30% discount? More on that very soon. The news burned the servers. ED's main page had a few issues. Very short though, the sad news is that Steam users will not benefit from the 30% discount. As of today at least, the following statement was made by Big Newy. The pre-order is not on Steam, only on the eShop, ok? The developer, meaning Raspam, choose not to offer the 30% pre-order discount on Steam due to small margins from the Steam Fees Plus discount. The module will be on Steam in the future, at that 20% discount when released. Another reason to move from Steam to the standalone version. You hear that, Petrovich? But, but my father let me there are no buts, Petrovich, really. Nah, they just make more money and they don't need to change. Or that, yeah, seriously, let's get back to the news. So there you have it, it was a bit of a mix up with the Steam version and discounts for our Steam users, sadly, and I say sadly because I understand all points, not just one. It may be a slight disadvantage that costs you 10% more if you are sticking on Steam with all your games and simulators. We will discuss this situation in a later video, ok Petrovic? Duh, I go back to play Call of Duty on Steam. Natasha! We got that nice and flashy pre-order trailer, did you watch it? I linked it in the video description for you to enjoy. Hands up, who likes DCS trailers? I know I do. The music, the shots and the great angles get me every time. It's a great trailer, congratulations to everyone involved. The music, the radio calls, everything screams hype 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 and of course it is. Oh and by the way, we saw that in the trailer they modeled the nozzle of the Israeli variant for the engines. More on that in a future video as well. So with that being said, I would like to let you know that there was no release date at the end of the video. I know many of you were wondering if, if only, but it was mentioned by ED as well that today is about the pre-order and pre-order only. What made the day even more crazy, let's put it that way. Well, the price on ED store, the moment it dropped, some users reported, myself included, a $24 price tag for the pre-order. That was addressed very fast, but check this out. Those who manage to get it on the cheap should count themselves lucky and get to keep it at that price. Now isn't that nice? Make a tradition? Please make a tradition. Petrovich approves. Of course he does. Can you imagine, not only that everybody jumped in the refresh for the web page and caused some issues there, but the price to be so low, I could have made more giveaways, but never mind. So as we know, the price is set at $55.99. This is a 30% discounted price, which is only available in the pre-order on the e-page. For those of you who kept on reporting that there is no valid reason to pre-order, well, let's make it clear. There is this 30% discount that will be available only in the pre-order. Then at launch, you will get an early access discount for 20%, which is still a nice discount for a brand new module. And the main price of the module is set at $80, which trust me, you won't see fast going down in the following months, as we know new modules take a longer time to get in sale for a big discount. So I hope I made it clear. 
again. This is not the first time I mentioned the pricing of the Strike Eagle here on the channel. We were the first ones to report it. And a video will appear right now in the left, uh, right corner of the screen. Yeah. So there you have it. The Eagle is inbound and I know many of you are ordering as we speak. ED mentioned that the module is now in the final phase of debugging and testing and that they are very confident it will be a huge success. May it be here very soon. And of course, be sure we will keep you updated on every development. And speaking of development, well, let's check the key features that are reported for the Strike Eagle in Edith's shop. Of course, the advanced flight model will be included, that provides realistic performance and flight characteristics for the F-15E Strike Eagle with the Pratt & Whitney F-100PW-229 engines. A highly detailed external 3D module and textures for the most accurate F-15E currently available in any simulation software. The trailers and showcases already look amazing, so there is no doubt there. Same goes for the highly detailed and accurate cockpit based on 3D scan objects with high resolution textures, specular and bump mapping and mouse interactive controls. And a detailed and thorough simulation of the F-15E's ANAPG-70 Radar Plus, a joint tactical information distribution system or GTIDS data link. And for training material, it will include a set of interactive training missions covering all the most important instruments, weapons and aspects of using the aircraft. A fully detailed manual for the aircraft and all systems, plus a free story-driven campaign built by Baltic Dragon, I told you so, and a set of single missions for single-player, multiplayer and multi-crew. So for now, that's all the info available with this pre-order for the Strike Eagle. There are a few things missing in there, but we will see about that later on. Meanwhile, another video was posted by Rasbam Part 4 for the APG-70 with the auto acquisition modes. I am still waiting for more, let's call it exciting videos, the startup, weapons, employment and air to ground. But we are close, as stated before, the plan is as follows, a pre-order, that is done now, then a newsletter, uh, I think they mean the newsletter from ED, is maybe in something else that we're missing, and then a ramp start video. Then we can say we are close to the release of this magnificent bird. Exciting. But you know what else could be exciting? No, what? Our sponsor. Oof, oof. VR Rock is offering something we deem right for our community. Blue light protection and specialized prescription lenses for your VR headsets. Yes, you heard me right. It's a problem I encountered ever since I started using my VR headset. My friends who wear prescription glasses couldn't enjoy flying in DCS as my headset couldn't safely fit without taking the glasses off. VR Rock will manufacture the lenses according to the prescription information you provide, fitting most VR headsets currently on the market and will ship it worldwide with the benefit of a tax-free policy. They also include non-prescription eye protection lenses. If you use our Hip Games discount code, you will receive 5% on any order and support our channel in the process. Link is in the video description. And that's it, thank you all for watching, a big shout out to our Patreons that support our channel, Rhinox, Bish, Payway AK Malone, Santiago Ordonez and Steven Adaschik, and all of our viewers that donate to our channel. This helps us to continue to invest full time in this channel and your favorite content here on YouTube. And if you want to support the channel as well, well we created a Patreon page with a few benefits for our subscribers, use the thanks button and leave us a like if you find the video informative and entertaining. And of course, subscribe to keep in touch with all the latest news on your favorite simulators and games. I am Andre Celesti, reminding you to fly safe and I'll see you next time.